Hello folks, Tiso here. This is going to be a boss guide for Magu Kenki, the new samurai puppet boss. I will be using an averagely geared razor to solo the boss. Here's his general stats and he is using 4 piece gladiator. He is using a level 80 prototype archaic, is constellation 3 and all his talents are level 6. Since my razor isn't that strong and he's alone, I'll eat some food to make this a little quicker. For this video, I'll first show the melee method to fight the boss, then I'll show all the other attacks that you didn't see. Even if you are using a mage or an archer, you can still stay close to the boss and avoid most of his attacks. At the beginning, when he's getting up, you cannot damage him, but you can hit him with elemental skills to get some particles. This mask attack is the easiest one to dodge, just move to the side to avoid this linear hit. When he sheathes his sword, run away he'll do a AoE slash around him. There will be plenty of time to see this and react. He can also do 3 slow swings. You can keep attacking and dodge when he's about to swing, or just run away. When his health reaches around 75%, he'll enter phase 2. You know this is happening when he brings out a second sword. When you see this animation, run away pretty far. He will damage a large area around him. For phase 2, he has a couple new attacks and all his old ones will be empowered. Whenever he does his EI slash, his clone will do it too. There are two patterns for this attack. This is his other version of the EI slash. This time, he will be separated from his phantom. When you see this, go towards the actual boss but stay outside his hit area. You can tell its range by the blue circle underneath. Also, don't be between the phantom and the boss. The phantom has a much bigger hit radius. Instead, you want to be tangent on the side like this. After the slash, you can just run in and attack. He can also summon a green phantom, which will shoot projectiles at you. The phantom will shoot once in the direction it's looking, then the boss will shoot 3-4 to four times. Quickly find out the direction the phantom is looking so you can avoid his slash. Then you can use both your dodges to avoid the slashes from the boss. He can still use his transformation attack so when you see both swords, run away. Here's the stacked blue phantom again. When they are stacked together, stay outside his initial slash and then run in after he attacks. His clone will be doing a donut attack, where the inside is safe, but the outside is dangerous. You can also dodge this by staying really far away if you are ranged. I just stay outside the radius and then move in after the slash. He can still shoot the mask, which is the easiest attack to dodge. Just keep your eyes open and run away when he pulls out a blue sword. All these attacks in melee range is very easy to dodge. During Act 3 of the Midsummer Island Adventure, you can defeat this boss for some extra rewards. Defeating him 3 times will give you 90 Primo Gems, and you'll earn extra rewards if you don't get hit by the Phantom or the Mask. Now, I'll go over the attacks that you did not see the boss use. When you try to hit the boss from far away, he can sometimes use his mask to block the projectiles. One of the bonus rewards is to not have the boss block your attacks. The good news is you can still use your mage and archers if you're next to the boss. He won't block your attacks if you are close enough. Here is another version of the mask attack. He will send both halves towards you and it will do AoE cryo damage. Dash when you see the mask start glowing white. 
He will not use this attack if you are next to him, so it's one of the extra attacks you only see from afar. Another attack he does far away is his green EI slash. He will slowly sheath his sword and instantly slash towards you. Then he will do several more melee swings and then a mask attack. The key is to dodge the initial charge. When you see the white flash, immediately dash. This will give you enough iframes to avoid the charge and all the following attacks. And lastly is his 3 hit melee combo. In phase 1, he only does 3 easy to dodge slashes. In phase 2, it becomes a lot harder to dodge since the phantom swings as well. Instead of trying to dodge 6 slashes, move away from the boss a little to avoid the attacks. But don't go too far away. If you go too far, the boss will cancel the slashes into a charge and then projectiles. You need to find a nice balance on the distance to avoid this attack. And that's all the attacks this boss has. It's a lot easier to fight him when you're close. And the rewards from Act 3 of this event incentivizes close combat as well. I hope these boss guides will help a lot of travelers. Those are the ones I enjoy making the most. If you like them as well, please subscribe, smash that like button, and let me know in the comments. And as always, have fun out there, traveler.